family. As you know, the state has mandated that groups of 25 or more do not gather together. And the federal government has suggested that we do not meet in groups larger than 10 as we work to fight the spread of COVID-19. Information seems to change hourly. Yeah, in fact, by the time you see these announcements, there's a good chance they'll be outdated. There's also a good chance you're watching them in your pajamas from the comfort of your own home. Church and jammies. These are weird times. They really are. The first thing you should know is that for the foreseeable future, almost all activities have been canceled. Awana is on hold, midweek Bible studies have paused, and there will be no chili feed. Which is really too bad because the aftermath of that much chili might have been enough to eradicate the virus entirely. Gross. Hopefully this limited quarantine will end soon. But if it doesn't, we want you to know that the church leadership is working hard to adjust to the new reality. We will be adding new means of connecting, teaching, and doing ministry. We can't launch everything at once, but new developments will be arriving each new week. Be on the lookout for updates. Please continue to check Facebook or Instagram for up-to-date information on how we as a church are working to keep you connected during social distancing. And check with your connect group leaders to see if your group will still be meeting or will be exploring the possibility of meeting virtually. As we go through this together, I'm so thankful that we live in a time when technology allows us to keep in touch with everyone. And as you practice social distancing, stay connected. Call and check in on your church family, write a text or an email, and send a card through the mail. Get creative. You could send a smoke signal. Oh, don't do that. Purchase and train a carrier pigeon. Nobody has time to train a carrier pigeon. No, no, we literally do. A week ago, no, no one had time to train a carrier pigeon. But now, training a pigeon seems like a much better idea than sitting on the internet waiting for a new update about the coronavirus. Fair enough. Please remember to be in prayer for global humanity and for our country. Pray for our government as they make difficult decisions and for our community and our church leaders. None of this came as a surprise to God. As we work to get through this, remember that He is in control. Use this time to draw closer to Him as you study His Word and seek Him in prayer. And remember, as we are told in Matthew 6, 34, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble 